Okay, so how how do we define globalization? It is not merely a an economic integration or economic interaction of one nation with another. It is political, social, cultural, and various other aspects. But for our purpose, when we are trying to understand the global local debate, we start with the economic interaction, right? So there are people we have also talked about various perspectives of certain scholars. ठीक है कल फ्रीडमैन के ऊपर जी टी वी पे भी काफी डिस्कशन हो रहा था राइट फ्री बीज दैट दैट इज मिल्टन फ्रीडमैन ही रोट अ वेरी फेमस बुक देर इज नो फ्री लंच सो दैट स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी पॉपुलर दैट देर इज नथिंग लाइक अ फ्री लंच ठीक है दुनिया में जो भी फ्री होता है उसका कॉस्ट बहुत बड़ा होता है Anything that comes free has a very indirect consequence. So he wrote. He is a very famous economist. He wrote that book that there is nothing like free lunch. So his book is about freebies and how freebies are impacting the development in today's scenario. Right. So when you are when you are promising people with certain things, right? People become somewhere accustomed to that kind of governance. and some day when you try to modify or change it right they will not easily accept it so again the political requirement will be that okay we have to follow exactly what popular demands are and by this process what will happen governments over a period of time they will get into a cycle of debt and ultimately wo kya karenge indirect taxes ko badhayenge they might not increase direct taxes but they'll increase indirect taxes and ultimately again you will be impacted right so obviously free actually doesn't come free right so there were certain scholars who have talked about this globalization like we took the name of ferzman what is ferzman saying and this you have to write in your answer you have to use those names ferzman says what is he saying इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ बट डिस्पैरिटी राइट अतुल कोहली इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ बट लॉलेसनेस क्राइम अगेंस्ट वुमेन एंड सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स आर इंक्रीजिंग राइट सो सोशल एंड कल्चरल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आर इंक्रीजिंग बट इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इज टेकिंग प्लेस वाई इट इज हैपनिंग यू हैव अ टॉपिक डेवलपमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओके डेवलपमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज अ काउंटर पार्ट ऑफ न्यू पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन What is NPA about? NPA, not NPM. Hmm. NPA, A or M? इतने close हैं कि ऐसे लग रहे हैं जैसे. NPM is different. I am talking about NPA. NPA and development administration are counterparts. They are alter ego, mirror images. No. NPA, NPA wanted to revolve, or oh, sorry, revolutionize or evolve the study of public administration, right, in the context of Western countries. So, Mino Brook conference that takes place. it takes place in us every 20 years right 68 88 2008 and then 2028 some students might ask you also ki npa 4 nahi padha hame to padhaya gaya theek hai somebody may say ki humne to padha npa 4 to usko ye answer dena ki pehle ho jane do fir padhenge right there is a book which is written by the future of npa so they have discussed about trends of npa 4 right but there is nothing like npa 4 it is only the trend of npa 4 right so some scholar has himself projected ki bhai ye hoga ye hoga ye hoga but usne covid nahi dekha tha he had written that paper before covid obviously now he'll have to modify his idea so npa was with respect to developed country and development administration is with respect to developing country so npa says that okay how we are going to use and modify public administration for achieving the goals of development 
in developed countries now goals of development will be different in developed countries and different in developing countries why will they be different wahan bhi roti kapda makan chahiye yahan bhi difference kya no but what will be the difference there the focus is more on quality of life here it is more on quantity of life population like america is much bigger geographically compared to india but its population is much less not less even india ki population 130 america ki 35 crores is somewhere right so 1/3 bhi nahi 1/4 almost right so technically their struggle for development is very different from our struggle for development so development administration is a chapter under cpa da right that da talks about development in developing countries right so when we are talking about globalization impact of globalization it is quite obvious that that impact is not very much relevant for them as it is relevant for us because they have already reached a comfortable stage of development so globalization was created as a process whereby the developing countries will come into the fold of this development mechanism how they can enter into this development process right and probably they will benefit from the developed countries but benefit hua nahi hua that is a different story fine so scholars like atul kohli or farzamand even though they are not criticizing globalization but they are not very much positive about its impact in developing countries then there is another scholar like jagdish bhagwati jagdish bhagwati professor jagdish bhagwati he is a pro globalizer right he has a pro global stand he supports globalization because he believes that globalization will obviously promote more growth more growth will be percolated into more benefit for the people right but he misses the point that this can only happen when there is good governance that is why globalization and good governance come together if there has to be a benefit of globalization it can only be achieved through good governance so if there is corruption there is political instability okay there are so many other problems then benefit of globalization will never reach the people fine so jagdish bhagwati ka apna view hai stiglitz joseph stiglitz a very famous person famous economist right and he has basically criticized globalization he was the person who was responsible for developing the globalization inequality index for united nations so under his globalization inequality index right he developed that index under united nations to measure what are the negative or what is the impact of globalization on developing societies and he found out that the disparities are increasing right now globalization inequality index measures many things per capita income whether it has increased or not quality of life what is the nature of consumption and expenditure of a particular household whether it has modified or not right so abhi bhi agar major consumption food grains hai that means the government has not been able to create a proper system of food security right majority expense of a poor household is on the food grains or consumption then technically he cannot spend that money leftover money for his qualitative improvement because any time there is an inflation let's say price of potato rises from 40 to 50 right automatically his savings will be eroded he will have less money available for health education and for so many other things right so stiglitz has his own view amart sen has his own view right and likewise gandhian concept was also somewhere against the idea of globalization or industrialization it was also pro local perspective this point is clear to you right so how do we how do we or what are the factors on which we support having a global orientation various factors are there technology investment economic growth skill building right international exposure and likewise so there are various factors we wrote right can we also say that okay the local economy becomes more 
or it gets more boost by the global interaction. Does it happen? Yes, it will happen. Why it will happen? Investments will come. Right? Investments will come, new models of development will emerge. So let us say government is using a traditional policy of development, but when we rope in, let us say UNDP or World Bank or any other institution, automatically the push for development increases. And government has to allocate specific funds for this development, which they were not doing earlier. So under global pressure, right, under global agenda, they have to allocate fund for the local development, as has been happening under SDG or even smart cities mission. So this point also you write where you were writing. Aapne likha tha na bhi? Niche example. Kya example likha tha? The point which we wrote, globalism, global, likha tha na bhi? Usme kuch example likha tha bhi? What example did we write? Yes. Right? So, how the international agencies are manipulating us. That was just an example. Ki bhai environmental agenda is not actually the agenda for developing countries. It is basically the agenda for developed countries.